Hello everyone, please welcome and join me Easy Steps Cooking. Today I'm going to share with you chicken drumstick. These are four and a half pound fresh chicken drumstick. I'm going to wash it with cold water. I'm going to make it with the Mexican hot sauce. It's Valentina salsa picante hot sauce. I'm going to use quarter cup parsley flake and I'm going to make masala, red onion, ginger, green chili and garlic cloves. These are frozen garlic cloves. And let's get started. I cut the onion into smaller pieces chili ginger these are the garlic clove we're going to put it in food processor and we're going to make a smooth paste if you haven't tried please try it the chicken going to taste really well it's all done scrape it off one time and then we're going to run it again and this is perfect it's all done I'm going to get a mixing bowl bring Mexican hot sauce Valentina salsa picante The masala we made it from ginger, garlic, green chili and red onion. This is perfect. Please try it and you're going to like it. Mix it well and it's going to be hot. Green chilies are really hot. Then this sauce is hot too. I washed the chicken drumstick, trim the extra fat and then I'm going to make one, two, cut like the and we're going to place it in our marination. So if the drumstick are big like this one, I'm going to make three cut, one on this side, two cut on this side and I will finish up the same way. I'm almost done, one more to go. Once we make nice cut into chicken drumstick, now we're going to marinate with our masala. So all the masala, we're going to make sure that it goes inside the cut. And the best thing to do, marinate at the night time. For over eight hours, then the next morning you make it, then you will enjoy the best chicken of your life. I'm going to marinate for two hours. So once it's nicely marinated, we're going to cover it and we're going to put it in the fridge for two hours. Put the plastic wrap right on top of it. Perfect. And this will go into the fridge. Longer, the better, but I'm doing it for two hours. The chicken has been marinated in the fridge for two hours and I just took it out and we're going to mix it again one more time. This is going to be hot and spicy. Mucho mucho cliente. I'm going to get the tray. This is the top tray, winter tray. Please follow Easy Steps method in order to make your chicken drumstick or any meat tender, juicy, moist. The way I do it, I cook with steam with water so the bottom tray is filled with the water i put it in the oven it's a preheated at 500 degree fahrenheit which is 260 degrees celsius and now it's already preheated i'm going to stack up the chicken drumstick on top and we will put it on top of it i'm going to put it one on this side facing this way and the other one we're going to face it this way so i'm going to keep adding the chicken drumsticks so we are done and now I'm going to take this tray into my oven. Oven is preheated at 500 degree Fahrenheit on bake. I'll turn the light on. You can see the water inside is boiling. You have to be very careful when you open it. It's going to be steaming hot. So I'm going to place the tray right on top of it. So be careful when you put it on. Don't burn yourself, put the gloves. So we're going to let it sit for half an hour on 500 degree Fahrenheit. We are cooking for half an hour and I'm going to open it just be careful and I'm going to turn the chicken over real quick look at how delicious nicely it's done and we're going to cook an additional 10 minutes very nice texture it's perfect cooking we're going to cook additional 10 minutes Another 10 minutes of cooking. I'm going to turn off the oven. All together, 40 minutes of cooking and our chicken is nicely done. I'm going to let it rest another five minutes before I take it out. We let the chicken rest for five minutes. Now I'm going to open it, but be careful. It's still hot. Chicken is perfectly done to our perfection. Look at how delicious chicken drumsticks are and I'm going to take them all and share with you. Our quick and easy and tasty and delicious chicken drumstick and sprinkle some parsley flake. Perfect chicken drumstick. Please try it and you're going to like it. You can serve as appetizer or you can eat it any time of the day. Please like, share and subscribe Easy Steps Cooking. Thank you and have a good day. Bye bye.